Hey, what is going on everyone? Welcome to the video. I hope everybody is having a fantastic day so far. It is 89 degrees out here in North Carolina right now and it is so hot for the Huskies. Right now, we currently got the fan going. Nyla is actually getting a little bit of wind from this fan over here. We have the AC going in the background, so the floor is nice and cold, so she's just soaking up all of that coldness. Hey, your mama, how you doing? And we got Loki over here, walking around my computer desk, trying to steal the food that I have on my desk. Mm, get into stuff, boy. What you getting into? What you getting into? So you're thinking about owning a Siberian Husky, but you're just not entirely sure if you want to own one or not. Well, don't worry because in today's video, I'm actually going to be giving you my five reasons as to why you probably should not own a Siberian Husky. And just in case if you are wondering, I did make a video explaining five reasons on why you should own a Siberian Husky. So after this video, I do highly recommend checking that video out. I will leave a link in the description down below. So make sure you go ahead and click on that video and watch it after this one so you can get the full perspective on whether a Siberian Husky is right for you. Now with all that being said, let's go ahead and let's dive straight into this video. Look at Loki, look at Loki, look at Loki, look, 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 look. Is that a good itch, buddy? Is, is that a good scratch? All right, so the first reason as to why you probably should not own a Siberian Husky is if you do not want a high energy dog. Siberian Huskies at the end of the day are working sled dogs and they require a lot of exercise. And I probably would say around maybe three to four hours minimum of exercise per day. Now, in the summertime, that can change because it gets extremely hot like it is right now. But due to as much energy, <laughs> due to as much energy as these guys have and how much they, they, that they can reserve, they definitely need a lot of exercise. So you can expect your Husky to probably run around your house and outside at random times because they probably caught the zoomies and they need a way to release all that kind of energy. So if that's not something that you want in a dog, or if you're not comfortable and or okay with your dog running around the house on the daily basis, then a Husky may not be for you. The second reason as to why you should not own a Siberian Husky, and that is if you do not want a vocalized dog. So Siberian Huskies by nature are very vocal and sassy. Like Nyla here is the queen of sassiness. Like I cannot express that enough. She's bougie, she's sassy, but I absolutely love that about her. So like you can, you can speak to your Husky and depending on the Husky's mood, they will talk right back to you. If they want something, they are going to whine and they're gonna bark. Some Huskies even go as far as to howl. Now, Nyla doesn't howl, however, she does more of a playful growl as well as Loki. Um, they kind of do something like a <laughs> whenever they're like trying to speak or if they're saying hi to somebody. And some people, they do tend to take that as like an aggressive act, but truth be told, she's not being aggressive she's just very very vocal and that's just how she communicates this sort of thing will happen often so if you get a husky then you know that's something that you should expect and if that's not something that you're okay with then a husky may not be the right dog for you the third reason as to why you probably should not own a Siberian husky and that is if you do not want to deal with a lot of fur Siberian Huskies do a lot of shedding. There are two points during the year when they mainly shed for the season change. That's like around maybe winter and spring. So, all, but however, all year round, all year round, they do shed a little bit of fur. Like even on my couch as of right now, like I'm not sure if you can see it, but like there are just pieces of fur all on my couch. What's up, you wanna give me a paw? Yeah, you wanna give me another paw? Give me other one. Uh, other one. No, other one. No, other one. <laughs> what about you? you want to give me a paw? Hey, I ain't got none. <laughs> what? 
ma'am. So this means your couch, your clothes, your bed, your hair, heck, everything is gonna have fur everywhere. So you can get a really good vacuum or you can get a good air purifier to help you maintain all the fur, but it's still not gonna be enough. Like you're, on, you're gonna have fur everywhere no matter what you do. So that's something that you might just gonna have to get used to. And if that's not something that you wanna deal with, then a Siberian Husky is not the right dog for you. The fourth reason as to why you probably should not own a Siberian Husky is if you work crazy hours. Now, I say this as if it's just you. So like if you're single and you're thinking of owning a Husky and you have nobody to come and take care of your dog, I know, right? Like how dare they? So yeah, if you're single and thinking of owning a Husky and you have nobody to come and take care of your dog or anything and you're thinking of leaving it in its crate for most of the day, which I have heard of people doing. <laughs> then you probably should not get a Husky. The reason being is that Huskies can and should only be in their cages for no more than three to four hours max. So if you're working a whole eight to six or a whole nine to five and you're going to be away from your home and you can't give your Husky a break from being in the cage to go to the bathroom or just to roam like from the house or go outside, then a Husky may not be for you. Now the fifth and final reason as to why you probably should not own a Siberian Husky, and that is if you lack or don't have patience. What you doing? I am very guilty of this myself. When I first got Nyla, I had little patience, and it's something that I had to work on over time. Now I have a decent amount of patience with them, um, training them and learning their behaviors. I've learned to gain patience. So it's not something that you can't learn or you can't develop, but as a warning, you are gonna have, a, gonna have to have a lot of patience with them because yelling at them or like getting mad at them and throwing them in their cages or anything of the sort that is not any kind of positive reinforcement will not help your husky learn what it is that you want them to do. So if patience is something that you lack and if that's something that you think that you might not have with a husky, then a husky may not be the right dog for you. All right, so that is all for today's video. If you have made it to the end, we greatly appreciate you. Make sure you give this video a big fat thumbs up Make sure you subscribe if you're new and turn on post notifications so you don't miss a single video that gets posted up onto this channel. Also, don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. We do post up videos on there, so make sure you guys follow us and stay in tune with that. Now, with all that being said, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for the support. We will see each and every single one of you in the next Husky video. Take care.